changes. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome into the Rockstar Flipper YouTube channel. This is kind of a video I've been wanting to make for a little while because it's a great topic and I get it. Uh, this question asked a lot of me. It's how to authenticate brands and shirts and it's also from people that don't even realize that a lot of popular brands get faked. Now, it doesn't happen as often as some people might make it seem or as much as you seem to see it. And that's just because on social media, when it happens, people put it out there. But it does happen. Brands do get faked. Almost every brand imaginable gets faked. Uh, it's just the nature of the business, China, overseas, it just happens. And so with that said, um, those of you that are new to this channel may not know this. Those of you that know me absolutely know the uh, uh, the collectivity and the obsession I have with these shirts. This brand of this shirt that I'm wearing right now is called Robert Graham. Um, it's an expensive shirt. It's, uh, it's a shirt that I refuse to pay retail for. I've never bought a Robert Graham shirt retail ever. I've bought them from thrift stores. I have bought them off of a ton of you on social media uh, and Facebook and Instagram and all over from YouTube viewers. I refuse to pay retail. Why? These shirts in normal everyday uh, non. So they have a regular edition and a limited edition. And the regular editions, uh, this is like a plain Jane regular edition one that I own. In fact, it's falling off the hanger. But uh, this shirt would run retail about 200 bucks, 150 to 200 bucks just for a plain Jane. Uh, this shirt is a normal non-limited edition, but it's crazy. So this one may be like 250 to 300. If you come across the limited editions, uh, and this would be one of the limited editions that I, I own, you can see it says limited edition. Uh, this shirt probably retail original when it was sold was probably about 450 to 500. Um, this is a non limited edition, but it's a special run of shirts that they made. I don't even know that I wore this at Vegas and eBay open. This shirt was probably about four or $500 retail as well. Um, what I've paid for them is not very much. I buy them, like I said, for uh, 10, 20% of, of cost. Uh, I try to anyway. So um, the first point I want to cover is why are these so expensive? Why are they so collectible? They're made in limited runs. They're designer. Um, some people think they're ugly. Ugly sells. It just is what it is. I think they're great. I think the, the creativity and the design that goes into something like this is incredible. Um, but with that said, yes, I do own, I think like 15 or 16 button downs. Um, I own a couple of polos and pullovers. They're not really worth the same amount of money. So don't really focus on those. If you see them, certainly get them. They're worth a little money, but they're not going to be worth the money like this. So what are these worth on the used market? Well, these are plain Jane, non-limited editions, probably in the 30 to $50 range, uh, depending on the size. They still have the cool, uh, necklines. They still have the cuffs. Now, for those of you that don't know what a flip cuff is, you can see it's plain black. And then when you flip the cuff, it has a design. The one I'm wearing, I actually, this is the regular cuff. And then this is the flip side of it. So I did that just so you guys could see. Um, and so these would be 30, 40, 50 bucks on the used market. If you find one that's non limited edition and it's crazy like this one, it could be anywhere from 50 or 60 on up to 80, 90. You know, I, I don't think you'll get a hundred or more. Maybe this one, cause it's crazy, but I doubt it. Um, this one, since it's so unique in a limited run, um, this kind of bronze statue guy, uh, this one would probably, I think I've seen this one sell for north of 150 on the used market. When you get into the limited editions, it's almost a guarantee that you'll get, uh, at least a hundred, hundred and a quarter. Uh, you know, I've seen some of them, this one, not so much, but you know, upwards of 200. Uh, if you get the really, really crazy ones, there's one with a samurai warrior on it, one with a black knight on it. Those can run 250 and plus on the used market. Remember they're four and $500 shirts retail. So that's the pricing and that's Bolo Robert Graham. Now the second part of this video is the authenticity of these shirts. And this is gonna go for a lot of brands. Now again, every brand is different, but these are things to look for um, specifically on Robert Graham's and then also on other shirts. So the three huge, huge things um, that I always look for uh, specifically here and that can kind of transfer over to other brands, you know, expensive brands like Versace or Gucci, uh, even Burberry a little bit. Uh, I don't own any Burberry button downs. I think I might own like a polo or something. Um, so number one is gonna be the tag and the embroidery. Any of these shirts that have embroidery, which is a great keyword to use, but usually Robert Graham people will find it anyways, you can kind of see the quality. Can you guys see the stitching on that? You see how th it's, it's thick, it's heavy, it's a tightly stitched thing. The stitching gives these shirts away by and far. Now the other thing that this is unique to Robert Graham, on the bottom of their shirts, do you see that? It says knowledge, wisdom, truth. 
It's embroidered right down here on the bottom on every single shirt. And there are some rare exceptions, but in some way, shape, form, or fashion, it should appear on every single shirt. I have heard there's exceptions. I have not seen them. Um, again, here's one, knowledge, wisdom, to truth. Now you can kind of tell that these shirts have been altered too, because do you see how close to the bottom that goes? It almost falls off. That shirt's been altered. Um, you can see this one kind of has a gap between the bottom. So that's probably not altered, if not very little. And then you can see on this one that um, it's got a pretty good gap, right? So, um, oops, where's that? There you go, pretty good gap too. So that other one's been altered. But with this, it's more embroidery, just like the tag on the back here. This embroidery is the same thick, quality, heavy embroidery as up here on the nameplate. Um, you know, if we look at the even the limited edition one, it has, the limited edition is still really heavily. I mean, it's really nicely made. On the back, it has some of this more embroidery stuff. That should be really heavy. And that goes for any legitimate designer or brand name shirt that's supposed to be embroidered. It should be heavy, thick. It should not just pull apart. I'm not saying it's not possible, but that is one thing to look for. Look for that quality stitching, okay? It goes for the stitch lines along these cuffs too. I mean, they're really, really, really heavily well-made. And so that's not just Robert Graham. I've seen it on a lot of different shirts that are expensive. Okay, number two, the second thing is the tag itself. So every brand has a way that they make their tags. You guys might be familiar with like the True Religion and the Miss Me's and stuff, how they have like their name put in there. I don't have any, I might have a pair of True Religions right here actually. Um, miss Me. Yeah, so True Religion, like this is a great, Example, they have True Religion jeans have these three tags and it says made in USA and not made in the USA. So every brand has a way they make their tags. And so what you need to do is figure out the brand. Robert Graham, for example, has Robert Graham in the neckline and limited edition in the neckline if it is a limited. And then their tags will be right above it with just the size in the middle. And it always says classic fit, regular fit, whatever the fit is, and then either made in India or made in China. Now, some people have said they're fake in one or the other. It's not, they're made in both countries, India and China. This particular one, limited edition made in, in India. I don't know if the limiteds are made in China, but you can learn that. I have to check on that actually. Um, so this one again, made in India. Most Robert Grahams are made in India. There are some made in China that are real though. Made in India, okay. They sourced this in the early years through China and in the later years in India. They must've got a better deal. This one was India as well. I think I have one or two in China and the rest are all India, um, but that's the later years. And so you will learn the way that companies make their tags. That's kind of a way to check if it's real. Compare it to a real one. Look, everyone always talks about Louis Vuitton, right? How they don't separate their design, their logos. There's a certain way that companies do things and they try to really stick to that. There are exceptions, you know, way back in the day, if they maybe for the first 10 years did something X way and then in the next 10 years did it a different way. And so um, that can happen, that can happen for sure. So that's the second way I always check, you know, the quality of the stitching and the embroidery, the tag to make sure it matches up. And then the third thing that we always look for, uh, besides the made in country, because sometimes companies don't make certain items in certain countries, like they just don't do it made in China. And if you see a made in China, you immediately know that it's fake. Um, the third way that we know, and this is true too on jeans, like I was just showing you, when you're looking at like True Religion, this is something you guys may not know, but on the backside of True Religion rivets and buttons, you see how it has the horseshoe? That's the True Religion logo back there. Sometimes it'll say, uh, TRJ, like True Religion Jeans, C, True Religion Jean Company or something. Um, the buttons and the rivets are almost always saying that. You can see here on the button, it has their logo. So buttons and rivets are really important part of uh, distinguishing and authenticating a lot of shirts. Now, some of them don't, but most of them will. When you look at it, it's gonna be really hard to show you, but I'll try. Um, let's see if we can get that up there. I'll zoom back a little bit. It says Robert Graham. It says RG. It doesn't actually say the full name. It just says RG. So it says Robert Graham RG. And I can't ever remember what it says. RGC or RGI, Robert Graham Incorporated or Robert Graham Company. It says it right on those buttons. Now, if we take one like this, it doesn't have those fancy buttons that that shirt has. And we look at the button on this one. It says in really little teeny tiny letters, RG. It's black, it's gonna be impossible for you to see, but you might be able to make out those RGs on it. 
it's just something that's really hard for the counterfeiters to counterfeit. They can, don't get me wrong, I've seen it, but uh, and not necessarily in Robert Graham's, but a lot of times that's a feature that they just don't get right. Um, quality buttons, I'll give you an example. You know, here's another one. This, this one has a skull for a button. That's really hard to replicate, especially with the matching colors to the shirt. The buttons are super important because they have, you know, these ones are these pearl buttons, mother of pearl buttons that have like the matching colors to the shirt. It may be off, you can kind of see it there. Buttons are super important on shirts. So you can look at it if it has different buttons or buttons that don't match or buttons that don't match the shirt, buttons that don't match each other. Tons of ways to tell uh, through these shirts just how real or fake they are. I can look at these and know in a second. I can spot the shirt from across the casino. Ask uh, Jason Deason at Thrift Trader that I spotted an older gentleman in Vegas uh, with one and we actually walked up and talked to him. But um, anyways, yeah, I can spot the real versus the fakes uh, immediately. And actually I have a video on this channel about a fake one, um, which to this day is still under dispute whether it's real or fake. I still own it. Uh, I won't sell it because I can't confirm 100%. I actually tried to get Robert Graham New York City's corporate offices to confirm it and they didn't even know. They asked me to ship it to them and I totally dropped the ball shipping it to them. Um, but I think I will ship it to them to try to get confirmation because it's an awesome shirt. I'd love to wear it uh, or sell it. I don't know if it's my size, but I'll check. Uh, anyways, um, that's confirming some of the world's most expensive shirts, designer shirts, and this goes for any type of brand. I don't care if it's... Um, True religion, I don't care if it's Miss Me, you know, we have some Miss Me jeans here. Um, you know, Miss Me uses their own rivets and their own design for the for the patch there. Miss Me has their own M's for their buttons. You can kind of see that. Miss Me has their tags, which everyone pretty much knows. And so that's how you can tell these quality, quality products. They do things a certain way. Um, is it worth the extra hundred bucks they charge you retail? Eh, probably not, but... Um, that's how you distinguish these real brands versus these fake brands. And um, yeah, I was listening, Gene, sorry. Uh, it's just it's just a quality about them and it's a material about them and it's a, a, a workmanship, a craftsmanship that they stake their name on, whether it is True Religion or Miss Me or Robert Graham or Versace or whatever it is, you will be able to tell. Now the fakes, there are a lot of good ones, a lot of good fakes. I don't even doubt anybody for not being sure on some things. Uh, but if you're not, join my Facebook group. It's Thrifter Reseller World. It's completely free. There's like 111,000 people or something in there. Uh, I'll link it below. And they, uh, there's a lot of people in there that will help you that are really good with it. Like I know, you know, if you shoot out a Robert Graham, I can help you with it. And between me and one or two other people that collect them that are in the group, shout out to my, my man, Matt Vett out in, uh, I think he's in Missouri that collects Robert Graham's as well. Um, there's a lot of us that can help you with that. You know, if you shoot out a Versace shirt, maybe I can help you, maybe I can't. But there's somebody in our group that knows Versace inside and out and will be able to help you 100%. And I can kind of point you in the right direction. So with that being said, I'll leave you guys to authenticating your merchandise. Uh, big shout out to the person who sent me this new Robert Graham uh, video or new shirt for this video. I didn't get permission to use her name, but thank you. I will message you on Instagram. Uh, I gave her a um, free set of or I'm going to give her a free set of training and video call and help her out and do a bunch of stuff and pay her, uh, you know, whatever she wants for this shirt because I love it. It's incredible. And uh, if you guys find any crazy shirts in extra large or the limiteds in large that seem to have big measurements, please let me know. Uh, I don't want any planes or striped. Uh, I just want ones that are, you know, catch the eye. So thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Give the video a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed. We're this close to 100,000. I'm going to do a huge big giveaway. I don't know what yet. I'll have to come up with something the next week or two. Uh, to give away for 100,000 subscribers. And until then, I'll see you guys next time.